Great storytelling in video games boils down to three main elements. An interesting setting, an evolving plot, and of course, memorable characters. A character's personality and how they react to certain situations will cause gamers to feel something for them, whether that be love, hate, admiration, empathy, or even fear. A great voice performance can live forever, with industry giants like Nathan Drake's Nolan North, Troy Baker aka Joel from The Last of Us, and Commander Shepard herself, Jennifer Hale, being the major names of the industry. However, there are a few big names hidden away inside video game voice credits that you possibly had no idea were tucked away inside your favourite video games. With technology now easily allowing for motion capture and facial tracking to bring real actors into our games, it's not uncommon to see a few famous faces on our consoles that we recognise from cinema and TV. However, this was not always the case and plenty of fantastic spoken performances could have slipped right past you. My name is Rach and welcome back to Watch Culture Gaming. These are 15 video game characters you didn't realise had famous voices. Number 15 random marines halo 4. halo 4 does indeed contain a fair few easter eggs but one of which introduces a very familiar voice late night tv host conan o'brien and sidekick andy richter guessed as the voices of two marines standing in a large loading bay found in the shutdown mission Stand around long enough and the marines will start joking about their menial jobs and how their post could be infinitely improved by rugs. Not like wall-to-wall -wall rugs, but certainly five good, solid rugs. The pair go on to gossip about rumours about a war with an alien awoken from an ancient slumber. The whole sequence is delightfully out of place and injects a nice jolt of comedy into the game. Right. I think something's up. What? I think there's gonna be a war with an alien they awoke from an ancient slumber. Number 14, Gabriel, Gabriel Knight. In what has to be the most awkwardly tantalizing entry on this list, the original Gabriel Knight point and click puzzle game from 1993 featured the leading voice of the illustrious Tim Curry. Excuse me, but your eyes are really distracting. With an accent that heavily leans towards sleazy, Gabriel Knight is a writer who investigates a series of recent murders as inspiration for his next novel. Curry is also joined by Mark Hamill's Detective Mosley and Jim Cummings's Desk Sergeant Frick. Very disappointingly, Tim Curry's hilarious performance as Gabriel did not in fact make a reappearance in the 20th anniversary edition re-release back in 2014. Number 13. Joker, the Mass Effect trilogy. No, not THE Joker. Jeff Joker Moreau in the Mass Effect trilogy is the comic pilot of the iconic SSB Normandy. He is a brilliant pilot and he knows it. Confident, arrogant and quick-witted, Joker is voiced by Austin Powers actor Seth Green. Look at that! I would've baked a cake. Joker is sarcastic but unapologetic, hiding behind his comedic spirit to mask a troubled past and an uncertain future. Green also frequently voices characters in Adult Swim's Robot Chicken and is well known for his portrayal of Chris from Family Guy, so this certainly isn't his first geeky rodeo. Number 12, Spyro the Dragon, The Legend of Spyro. You probably won't hear Spyro the Dragon fans talk about the Legend of Spyro trilogy very often. The game switched up a lot of the foundations that the original trilogy had built, and the new trilogy hit the world like a mug of lukewarm tea. Some thought it was alright, but most thought it was just awful. However, one redeeming feature of these games was the quality voice acting provided by Lord of the Rings actor Elijah Wood. This is your home, Sparks but I just found out that my home is out there somewhere. Wood brought a delightful energy to Spyro and was also joined by David Spade as Sparks and Gary Oldman as Ignitus. Elijah Wood also provided his voice for Broken Age, God of War 3, and The Lord of the Rings and the Happy Feet games. Number 11, Ansem the Wise, Kingdom Hearts 2. The late, great Christopher Lee was behind the deep base of Ansem the Wise in Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2. 
A scientist, a teacher, and a mentor, Ansem the Wise is a revered elderly gentleman with the same enemies as our protagonist, Sora. In order to protect his people, Ansem spends his time alongside his apprentices studying hearts and the enigmatic heartless enemies. Christopher Lee was not just a voice actor and a film star, but also fronted a heavy metal band called Charlemagne by the Sword and the Cross. The man was badass personified. I try to wrap my mind around things my heart already knows, only to fail. Number 10, Lady Emily Caldwin, Dishonored. The first Dishonored game features the young Lady Emily Caldwin, who is under the care of Lena Headey of Game of Thrones fame. After her mother's murder, young Emily is kidnapped and it is up to the player to rescue her. Emily was voiced by kick-ass actress Chloe Grace Moretz. Moretz has had extensive acting experience in her young life and exhibits the same maturity through Lady Caldwin. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Unfortunately, she did not return to voice Emily in the Dishonored sequel in 2016, as the character had grown older and was replaced by Erica Luttrell, who is known for voicing multiple characters in Steven Universe. Number 9. Rincewind, Discworld It is said that all roads lead to Ankh-Morpork, Pork, when really, in truth, all roads lead away from Ankh-Morpork. Pork. I absolutely adore Terry Pratchett's Discworld novels. Back in 1995, the point-and-click adventure, simply titled Discworld, roughly followed the events of the book Guards Guards and featured Rincewind, the novice wizard, as a playable character. Rincewind was voiced by Monty Python eccentric Eric Idle, who provided the perfect dry humour and tone to bring the fantastic world of ankh Morpork to life. What a lovely picture of the top three place cats in the annual ankh Morpork cat. Even to this day, I find myself picking up random objects and thinking, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Number eight, Simon, Simon the Sorcerer. While on the subject of daft British comedy, novice wizards and point and click adventures all fitting together perfectly, Chris Barry of Red Dwarf fame voices the rude and unpleasant teenage Simon in the 1993 fantasy game, Simon the Sorcerer. Simon is transported from his world into a magically parallel universe to rescue a wizard from an evil sorcerer. Although there came to be six games in the Simon series, Barry did not return after his first performance for any of the sequels. Dear Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest. Number 7. Lucy Stillman, Assassin's Creed Victim of one of the strangest plot twists in the entire Assassin's Creed franchise, according to Ewan Patterson, Lucy Stillman is the assassin turned Templar turned assassin turned whatever in Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood and Revelations. She is voiced by Kristen Bell, who is also known for her performances in Veronica Mars and as the voice of Anna in Disney's Frozen. The character's likeness appears to also be definitely based on her face. Rebecca's patched in a phone line. The Templars are still guarding the border, and Vidic seems to be busy too. Number 6. The Narrator – Fallout The introductory narration to each of the Fallout games all begin with this same narrator and this same iconic line. War. War never changes. Hellboy and Sons of Anarchy star Ron Perlman is our grizzled narrator throughout the series, eventually earning the name Ron the Narrator in Fallout New Vegas and a character role in Fallout 4 as a newscaster. Surprisingly, the only game in the series he is not the narrator for is Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Perhaps he was filing down his horns that day. Number 5. The Amazing Spider-Man – Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions how I Met Your Mother meets multiple Spider-Man in the 2010 release of Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. Neil Patrick Harris lends his voice to the amazing Spider-Man and is joined by the ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099 and Spider-Man Noir in this character swapping, web-slinging action adventure game. Often regarded as the most underrated superhero game of recent years, Harris works together with the other Spideys to try and piece the broken realities back together. You know, every time we play together, I end up digging sand out of my costume for weeks. Number 4. Officer Frank Tenpenny – Grand Theft Auto – San Andreas Officer Frank Tenpenny is the main antagonist of GTA San Andreas, 
a crooked cop with some exceedingly unorthodox methods, Tenpenny is voiced by none other than Mr. Glass himself, Samuel L. Jackson. He frequently enjoys interrupting CJ's fun and makes sure to step on his toes often enough to remind him who is in charge. Now you get this straight. We own you. You're out. Jackson also provided the voice of Afro Samurai for the video game adaption, an absolutely bonkers underrated anime series. Number 3. William Carver Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 2 Michael Madsen, present in just about every single Tarantino movie that you've ever loved, also dabbles in a hefty amount of voice acting for video games. In Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 2, the group are held against their will in a community run by a merciless dictator. Madsen voices the villainous Carver, creating a character that you simply love to hate. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. He's also voiced characters in Dishonored 2 and Death of the Outsider, Grand Theft Auto 3, Driver 3 and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Number 2. Uriel and Martin Septim The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion the prophetic emperor Uriel Septim that meets his very swift expiration during the opening to Oblivion is voiced by none other than Jean-Luc Picard himself, Patrick Stewart. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Criminally underused, the emperor very conveniently breaks you out of prison, spouts the usual you are the chosen one dialogue and then is promptly murdered. His son Martin Septim is voiced by sharp star Sean Bean. It's almost become an expectancy that any character Bean portrays is destined to meet an untimely on-screen demise and, rather ironically, it is he who survives when his famous father falls. That's what you did at Kavach. It wasn't the gods that saved us, it was you. Number 1. Molag Ball – The Elder Scrolls Online in The Elder Scrolls Online, the massively online multiplayer game set in Bethesda's Elder Scrolls universe, the Dominion of Cold Harbor is lorded over by the benevolent Molag Baal. Daedric, prince of domination and slavery of mortals, creator of vampires, schemer, prince, harvester of souls, and various other titles that would give Daenerys Targaryen a run for her money. The Big Bad is voiced by Malcolm McDowell, lead of Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange, who grants the character the exact kind of chilling demeanour that befits a creature of such evil. Do you really think you can defeat me? McDowell also voices President John Henry Eden, the main antagonist of Fallout 3. The guy's good at villains, what can we say? McDowell is not the only cinema star to feature in The Elder Scrolls Online and he is joined by John Cleese, Kate Beckinsale, Michael Gambon, Alfred Molina and more. And that's our list. Was there any famous voices that you missed that we also missed? Thank you so much for watching once again. My name has been Rach. You can follow me on Twitter at Don't Rach Quit. Be sure to like and share and subscribe and all those lovely things and you be sure to have an awesome day.